<laughs> what? Roll call. Roll call is where you're going to say your name out loud. Huh? But before we do that, we're going to use our hands, okay? I'll get started and we'll go around and it'll be, it'll be your turn eventually. So yeah. let's go ahead and get started. Ready and roll call. My name is, my, my, my name is roll call. My name is, my, my, my name is roll call. My name is Javier. Can you say Javier? Javier. Oh. All right, we're going to go around this way. So here we go. Ready and roll call. My name is, my, my, my name is roll call. My name is, my, my, my name is roll call. My name is Brian. Brian! Ooh, here's your turn. Ready? And roll call. My name is My name is Roll Call. My name is My name is Roll Call. Hey! So that's Roll Call. Let's try it one more time, okay? But this time, we're going to try it without stopping. Just kind of go a little bit quicker. Yeah. Here we go. Roll oh. Call. My name is Everybody. So that was roll call and in our very first lesson we're going to talk about something that's very important for us musicians that like to play rhythms. Now rhythms are repeated patterns. Okay? Repeated patterns. Repeated patterns. And rhythms are things that are repeated. Repeated patterns. Okay? Repeated patterns. Okay. Repeated patterns. Okay. Repeated patterns. Okay. Repeated patterns. <laughs> Repeated patterns. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can tell, Ryan was copying okay, kind of like an echo, but this time it just gets repeated. And we could create it in different ways. With music, we use musical instruments, okay? And in the percussion family, we use the three different S's. But I do want to mention one little thing that each of you at home already naturally have inside your body that is creating a rhythm. Can you guess what is inside your body that is creating a rhythm? Let me give you a hint. That is correct. It is your heart. It is a heartbeat. As a matter of fact, Brian, why don't you have us start off with a pattern that can be repeated and you try to follow along at home. Here we go. Now, we're keeping it steady, we're keeping it the same pose, we're not going too fast, and we're not going too slow. <laughs> we're just going nice and consistent. And to stop, I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, and stop. What? When you see that, that means that we are stopping. Whoa. Great. How about I try to create a repeated pattern? Uh, I'll do something like, uh, how about like this? You use your hands on your laps and you go, And it's one, two, uh, or one, two, uh, 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 uh. same thing. Not too fast, not too slow, but the same steady pattern. And one, two, three, four, and stop. Very good. So you can create different patterns at home. Now you're going to see behind us here lots of instruments that we're going to introduce little by little as we talk about rhythms. But one of the very first things that we're going to talk about are things that you can shake, things that you can scrape, and things that you can strike. And I'm going to, not baseball strike, but strike <laughs> with a stick onto a drum. So we're going to talk about this very first part which is now called percussion. Can you say percussion? Percussion. Percussion. Remember, there are the three S's. It's what you can shake, it's what you can scrape, and it's what you can strike. And you're out. 
<laughs> awesome. So here we go. Well, let's talk about some of the instruments in percussion, and this is now going to be rhythm with percussion. Strike. Strike. You're out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> okay, so percussion comes in many shapes and sizes and forms. And you can find percussion in all of the cultures of the world. So once you learn how to play drums and percussion, you can communicate with anybody. So as we talked about, the three S's, scrapes, shakes, and Strikes. Strikes. You're out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> awesome. All right. So here's something that I have called a wiro, and I can scrape it to make a sound. Whoa. We also have another instrument that we can shake called a chekare. Wow. So we have a gourd and we have beads. And you shake it. Wow. All right, here we have another instrument called a kabasa. Huh? And it's got little metal beads. It's made of wood, but it also has a metal interior. And the beads go against that metal interior. Alright, so I can shake it, or I can play it this way as well. I want to scare all the rattlesnakes away. We've talked about two different kinds of S's. We talked about shaking instruments, shaking percussion instruments, and we've talked about scraping instruments like the guido. We have one more S uh, to talk about. Do you remember one of the S's that we talked about? And I usually made a reference to baseball. Yeah! Strike! Three, you're out. Now, strike means using something like a drumstick or some kind of wooden uh, beater and we can use it on an instrument like this. This is called a cowbell. To make the sound, I need to use a wooden stick and I like to hit on two parts. One here, sounds deeper sound, and then up top here. It's a brighter sound. So to strike this cowbell, I can create a pattern, something like this. Now, at home, you may not have these kinds of instruments, okay? But I'm sure that if you go into the kitchen, you might find some pots and pans and you might find something that you can create that can be scraped. So remember, we're talking about instruments that you can shake, instruments that you can scrape, and instruments that you can strike. Okay, everybody, so now that you're starting to see the different kinds of instruments, percussion instruments, repeated patterns to create rhythms, but we want to show you a few words that you may already know to create your own rhythms. Now, the first one we're going to talk about are apples. Now, there's two hits for the apple, so it's apples, and you can clap along, okay? So, apples. The next word are peaches. Love them. Peaches. So, two hits for that one as well. We'll go... Peaches. Very good. We have another word which is called pears. So how many claps do you think would go with the word pears? One. Could be pears. And then we have another word which is plums would be also one hit. So we say plums. But between the words pears and plums, 
is the word and. So we're going to clap pears and plums. Huh? Let's try it again. Pears and plums. So let's put it all together. It goes apples, peaches, pears and plums. Tell me when your birthday comes. Repeat. Apples, peaches, pears and plums. Tell me when your birthday comes. So we're going to say in which month is your birthday. My birthday is in the month of May. So I'm going to say the word uh, May. If you don't know your birthday, ask somebody at home or ask somebody that knows what month your birthday is in. But you want to shout it out loud when it's your turn. Yeah. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get our instrument. Here we go. And we're going to go apples, peaches, ready, and apples, peaches, pears, and bones. Tell me when your birthday comes. Apples, peaches, pears, and bones. Tell me when your birthday comes. Mine is in May. Yeah! Here we go. Apples, peaches, pears, and bones. Tell me when your birthday comes. Apples, peaches, pears, and bones. Tell me when your birthday comes. Mine is in November. Awesome. So now you are going to create your own kind of combination. Apples and pears or peaches, plums and peaches. Plums. Exactly. So those are the different things that you can Getting create. Getting hungry. At, exactly. <laughs> We're getting very hungry at this point. So again, percussion, rhythm, uh, the three S's, and instruments that you can find at home. Okay, with, inst with, with, with pots and pans that you can use very easily at home. With permission. With permission. <laughs> with permission, okay? Especially if there's already food inside of there, <laughs> you don't want to use that pot, okay? <laughs> so, make sure that it is to have fun. And we're having lots of fun here with you today. We're going to continue with more, with more music. Say it, you can play it. Okay, so now that we've introduced some words as rhythms, we're going to go ahead into a section called If You, you can, can Say It, You, you can, can Play It. it. Alright, so we're going to say a word and then we're going to play that word based on how many syllables the word has. Yeah. Okay. So we've already said plum. Mm. One sound. Plum. So if I wanted to say plum, 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 I, I could play that on whatever instrument I have. Plum, 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 plum. Alright? That's one sound, one syllable together. One, one note. One, one note. Correct, correct. Alright, we've already talked about peaches. That's mm -hmm. two syllables, two sounds. Peaches. Alright? So if I wanted to put that together, plum, peaches, plum, peaches. Let's do that. One, two, ready, go. Plum, peaches, 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 plum, peaches. Alright, so I'm saying it and then I'm playing it the exact same way. All right, so how about a three-syllable, three-beat word? What? How about coconut? All right, sounds like this. Coconut. If you're saying it, then you can play it. So let's play coconut. Yeah. One, two, ready, go. Coconut, 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 coconut. All right, we're saying it and then we're playing it. It's exactly the same way. So we've got a one syllable, one note word. Which was plum. 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 Two note, two syllable word, peaches. 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 And then a three note, three syllable word, coconut. coconut. How about a four? Oh. Four note, 
four syllable word? Watermelon. Oh, watermelon. Watermelon. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to say watermelon. And let's go ahead and play that together. We'll do Re it. Repeat it, repeat it, watermelon. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, two, ready, go. Watermelon, 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 watermelon. All right. So here's a fun thing we can do. We can start putting some of those rhythms together. You can say it first, and then you can play it exactly the way you say it. Okay. So, for example, I want to put pear, pear. coconut, peaches. Pear, coconut, peaches. Pear, coconut, peaches. Okay. All right, we're going to put that together. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Pear. Coconut peaches, pears, coconut peaches, pears, coconut peaches, pears, coconut peaches. All right, so all you have to do is be able to say it, and then you know how to play it. Yeah! If not, you got to fake it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're having such a wonderful time, and we hope that you are too. And we want to just remind you of what we learned today in this lesson. Remember, we've talked about rhythm, which are repeated patterns, and there's a rhythm that you automatically already have inside you, and that is your heart, your heartbeat, okay? So we've talked about rhythm. We've talked about and introduced what is the percussion family. There are three S's with the percussion family, things that you can shake, things that you can scrape, scrape or things that you can strike, strike. using a, a stick or some kind of object. Okay? Remember, if you can say it, then you, you can, can play it. it. We've also talked about introducing words with some of those rhythms and patterns and words that you may already be familiar with. Okay, Peaches and pears and plums, coconut and watermelon mm. are words that you can use to clap it and to play along with some of the instruments that you have at home. And make sure that you're trying to Try different sounds, different instruments at home so that you can get more familiar with the wonderful, wonderful uh, family of rhythm and percussion. And as in the beginning of the video, we had a little play along. Brian and I were playing along too with some drums. If you want to follow along and play with us on the drums or with the instruments that you guys have at home, please do so. Yeah. And remember to visit us on the next video. We have wonderful topics and play along instruments that you'll be able to follow along. So thank you very much and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.